Let's talk about alcohol and how it affects our brains and bodies throughout our lives. When we drink alcohol, it excites the limbic system. The limbic system is responsible for pleasure, learning, emotion, motivation and survival. At the same time, it reduces the ability of the prefrontal cortex to do its job of making good decisions, planning and thinking about the consequences of actions. By exciting the limbic system and switching off the prefrontal cortex, alcohol makes us more emotional and impulsive. When we drink, significantly more dopamine is released by the limbic system. That's the chemical in the brain that makes us feel good. When you keep drinking, the brain makes you believe the big release of feel-good chemicals is normal. This makes you want more alcohol to keep feeling good. Even before we're born, alcohol can impact us in different ways. Researchers don't know exactly how much alcohol is safe to drink when you're pregnant. They do know the risk of damage to your unborn child increases the more you drink and can contribute to premature birth. Binge drinking or excessive alcohol use is especially harmful and can lead to increased risk of fetal alcohol syndrome and birth defects. Even a small amount of alcohol may cause harm, so not drinking alcohol whilst pregnant is the safest choice for your unborn child. After we are born, the brain continues to develop and change throughout adulthood. When we are young adults, we often use alcohol in social situations to help us relax or have a good time. But drinking alcohol also affects the frontal lobes of the brain. These are the bit here and here, and they help us make good decisions and not so good decisions. So when we are drunk, our decision-making skills are impaired and we can make crap decisions such as having unsafe sex by not using birth control or by drink driving, which could cause serious injury or death to ourselves or others. Long-term heavy alcohol use can contribute to emotional and mental health issues. It can affect how we cope and our outlook. Alcohol use can decrease the positive effects of medication used for depression and anxiety. At this age, it also means our livers have to work overtime. Sometimes to the point that they stop working at all. As we get older, the body processes alcohol differently. It takes longer for alcohol to leave the body. Alcohol affects the parts of the brain that control balance more than when we were younger. Older people who drink may be at greater risk of falls and hmm. then hip replacements. Older adults are also likely to be taking a range of medications. Many of these medications can interact with alcohol. This can make you very sick. Using alcohol with sleeping pills and painkillers can be risky and even lead to death. Whatever age we are, heavy alcohol use can impact on the brain's reward system and increase motivation and desire to continue use, often despite negative consequences. So no matter our age, alcohol's effect on our brains is worth thinking about. Your health and well-being may be at risk if you consume too much alcohol. If you want to talk to someone about your or others' alcohol use, you can contact the following free and confidential services.